beautiful day to be out at that mm -hmm. nature center. But storms possible tonight, Rob? Yeah, there's that slight chance that some storms are trying to roll in from Wisconsin. They're very weak, and I don't think they'll amount to very much. But we are going to keep our eye on them. Overall, though, it's a relatively nice evening. A few fireworks going on. I'll step out of the way. As we take a look at some folks still in traffic, even at this hour, we are expecting the temperatures to cool down a bit thanks to some dry air that's been in place. But the humidity has been starting to creep back up. Temperature currently sitting at 73. That's not too bad. Uh, we didn't warm up quite as much today as we could have in some locations, although the city is a little bit warmer. The dew points, this is the measure of moisture in the atmosphere, showing some lower numbers, some drier air that's been in place, but a little bit of moisture is trying to creep back in. Notice the darker greens. That's some of the humidity trying to sneak back in. And you may feel that tomorrow as the humidity creeps up a little bit. But the cooler air and the drier air is going to allow us to drop the temperatures tonight into the 60s and maybe even some 50s. We already have some mid 60s showing up. A crisp, comfortable evening as the humidity is on the lower side. 63 right now in Rensselaer. I suspect we'll probably see a few upper 50s by early morning. And with clear skies, we're expecting the temperatures to move up pretty quickly. We do have clear skies right now. Mentioned that chance for a few storms. I showed you this a little bit earlier, but there is a line of some showers that's trying to roll in. It's going to encounter some of that drier air, but there may be enough moisture to ring out maybe an isolated shower, even a rumble of thunder. Here's satellite and radar tracker. Some new data did come in. I wanted to show you that an isolated shower chance possible here and there. Don't pay attention to exact location. As I always tell you, just get the overall feel. A very isolated shower storm could be possible across the area tonight. By tomorrow, though, we should be able to dry things out nicely. But again, that isolated shower chance I'm going to leave in the forecast. Then we're going to kick in with a north or a northeast wind. Now that is going to keep us on the cooler side, keeps a nice supply of that lower humidity trying to move in as well, but that also means it's coming right off of the lake. And unfortunately, that's going to start to build some waves on the lake as long as those north or northeast winds are in place. And I do think they'll be with us for most of the day tomorrow. A few clouds developing during the afternoon. Overall, a very nice Sunday, cooler than average for this time of year. The average high this time of year is about 84. We're going to do 78, so much cooler than that. And while most of the day will look like this, an isolated shower is certainly possible. That northeast wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Again, coming right across the lake. Uh, we may see some of the waves begin to build as high as three to four feet. I know it's going to be a nice afternoon tomorrow. Not the hottest day, so hopefully that won't uh, be bringing too many people to the lake, but these three or four foot waves can make it a little bit difficult along the lake. Also something to consider maybe if you're heading out on the boat tomorrow as well. Temperatures continuing to rise each and every day that we have that sunshine. The sun angle very strong this time of year. It'll continue to move our temperatures uh, back into the 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday, mid 80s by the end of the week, and that's right about where we should be. We are now past the peak of our warmest part of the year, but we do expect temperatures to stay warm for quite a while longer, and that continues through the rest of our seven day forecast. Isolated shower possible for Sunday. Otherwise, dry conditions for our entire seven day forecast.